Hello, my name is Kiriath, and today we are going to have a little chat about Finecast. And it is going to be a little chat, because I'm still a bit ill and my voice really hurts. That sounds weird. My throat really hurts, not my voice, you know what I mean. So, this is a weird one. This is one where I want your input, because I'm not entirely sure what to make of this. I am sceptical, but I would, I would appreciate just more of a consensus from you guys. So, I got a message today that essentially said that Games Workshop will be dropping support for Finecast, that they are aiming to have all Finecast gone by the end of 2020. And it is, you know, it's a rumour, it's a bit of information that was sent my way, but it's one of those ones where I'm not 100% sure what to make of it. Because my original, like my first reaction was extreme scepticism. I mean, there is still a lot of fine cast around. Uh, my first thought was, okay, well, I know where this has come from. This this sounds like, essentially, a bit of overexcitement about the fact that we are getting new stuff for Dark Eldar and Eldar. We are having fine cast units and fine cast HQs replaced with plastic, you know, updated plastic versions. The Howling Banshees are no longer available on the Games Workshop store, neither is Jane's R, because we have plastic versions of both coming. The Incubi are gone for the Dark Eldar, because we have a plastic version coming. And we are going to see a new Dark Eldar character on Monday, or at least a reimagined one, which is going to be Drazar, most likely, anyway. It feels to me like an extrapolation of that, with a date thrown in for good measure. I say a date, the end of 2020 is the end of 2020. Not a specific date, but more of a, a point in time. And it feels like an extrapolation of that. Where it's like, well, okay, if if these guys are being replaced with plastic models, then surely they're not going to stop there. I mean, we're going to see more updates, we're going to see more fine cast stuff be replaced with plastic. And I don't think that's necessarily an incorrect assumption. I just don't think the time scale adds up, because... For me, when you look at the the amount of Finecast, especially just in 40k by itself, I have to admit I don't know the state of Finecast in Age of Sigma. I don't know how many units are still available, you know, for that system that are still Finecast. I'm assuming there's some. I'm assuming they haven't got rid of all of them, even if they may have moved that way. I know there was a huge number of models that were made uh, last chance to buy um, before the is it the Free Cities or whatever it was got shown off. I know a huge number of them vanished, some of which some of my friends use for D&D minis, so just have to hope those those never break, because can't get them again now. Um, but in 40k at least, there's there's loads left. There's loads of fine cast stuff still knocking around. It has got a lot better. There is, you know, for the most part, it's plastic, but... If you look at the Eldar by themselves, if we ignore the Howling Banshees and Chains are, because of course they've been updated, you've still got all the other aspect warriors. You've still got like the Warp Spiders, and you've got the um, Swooping Hawks, and you've got Striking Scorpions, and the Reapers, and the the Orange Ones, I always forget what they're called, Fire Drakes. You've got all of the Phoenix Lords as well, they're all still fine cast when you look at Dark Eldar as well. I mean, Dark Eldar are in a really weird state, where they have like... They, they, it's not half their army is fine cast, but they have a decent chunk of fine cast still in there. Those are the two that are jumping to mind because, of course, they've had their updates most recently. I know Blood Angels has still got a ton. Tower Empire have got loads. I mean, all the crew stuff is fine cast. Necrons have got an unusually high amount. When you look at the Necron stuff, it is by and large plastic until you get to the HQs where every named HQ is fine cast, and so are the two Satan shards as well. I know that the Imperial Guard has got a bunch. Space Marines have still got a load knocking around. Even if you replaced, like, one fine cast model or unit a week for the next however long, like, for the next year, you'd still be hard-pressed to have replaced every single fine cast model by the end of next year in 40k, and that's not even counting anything that's still available in Age of Sigma. It sounds like something that will happen over time, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying it's the, it's the case that Finecast will be here forever. We'll never see the end of it. Finecast will always be a thing. But to have all of it gone by the end of next year? It just feels like it's cutting it way too fine. And I know I must have forgotten some stuff. I know that I like I know there must be other other Finecast things still around. I'm sure I mean 
I'm just looking at the Games Workshop store right now. I'm sure there's still some for Chaos Space Marines. I know there's some for Grey Knights. Some of the HQs for Grey Knights are uh, a fine cast. Orcs still got a bit too. I think some of the... Um, I think some of their units are still... like Some of their like, box units are still fine cast. It just doesn't seem reasonable. I mean, the only way I could see it happening is if like support for the fine cast stuff was dropped out of codexes. Like on mass as well, not just like here or there, one or two disappearing. If you wanted to make a real like inroads into removing fine cast, then one of the easiest ways to do it would be to just drop support for units out of the codex. But how well would that go down? I mean, can you really get away with dropping all of the eight named HQs out of the Necron Codex? I don't think so. That would be that would not go down particularly well. Same thing for well, same thing for a lot of it. You can't just dump all of the Aspect Warriors. It's a key part of Eldar. You can't just go, well, we've got Plastic Howling Banshees. We have not made the rest, so when they next get a Codex, ditch them. Just get rid. It doesn't strike me as being particularly likely. I feel like you would have to have like major reveals like every other week or every single week for every single faction of 40k just to make a dent. You could, yeah, you could ditch a load when a new codex comes out, but then that seems like shooting yourself in the foot a little bit in order to just get rid of one particular product, especially when they don't seem to be unwilling to use it anyway. I mean, we look at some of the stuff that they've done recently, like we had uh, like Countess Viridian, and there's been, there's been a, a, a few like kind of special characters that have come out that have still been fine cast. It doesn't show doesn't seem like they're making any indication of like ramming the brakes on and going right no more done it doesn't strike me as being massively likely but then again then again if they're trying to reduce bloat if they're trying to make things a little bit simpler would removing a bunch of units make sense i mean it could have a double like a, a, a double effect of reducing the number of ridiculous name characters floating across codexes whilst also reducing the number of things you need to make via fine cast. You don't have to redesign them, you don't have to update them, you just ditch them entirely. But then given how much that would piss people off, would you really want to do that anyway? And as I've already said, that like but we're just talking 40k. If there's still stuff for Age of Sigma, which I'm assuming there is, you'd need to do similar treatment across both constantly. It would be an insane release cycle and you would also alongside that still be covering the boxed games and I can't help but be sceptical. I can't help but think that it's not accurate, that it's very unlikely that we'll see that amount of shifting away from it in such a short amount of time. I feel like it would be rushed, it would be weird to release, it would end up with a, a kind of bizarre system of announcements where you'd have like things that are only mildly related being just thrown up as a case of, hey, this is now plastic too, and I don't know, I'm just not feeling this one, I just don't feel like it's feasible, you know? But... There could be something that I've missed. There could be some idea that I haven't had that you guys immediately think, oh, no, yeah, no, that does make sense. And if so, I want to know what that is. If you've got any thoughts on this, if you think it is something that is likely, or you know, if they've, there are other reasons you think that it's unlikely, then do let me know, because it's, it's an interesting idea. I just don't think it's... I just don't think it's there. I just don't think it's, like... I think the time scale is all wrong. I can see Finecast vanishing, like eventually, just not like in the next 12 months. That seems a bit excessive. We do have armies that are all plastic now. I mean, Death Guard, all the new, like the newer stuff, like Death Guard and Thousand Suns, Admech is is uh, all plastic. Uh, I think Gene Steeler Cults are too. Imperial Knights, obviously, and Chaos Knights by extension. Uh, I think Harlequins? Or was, no, I think Harlequins might still have, might have a fine cast thing here and there. Just doesn't seem just doesn't seem likely but as i say i could have missed something if i have let me know in the comments down below I'd be interested to see what you think about this one and uh, also whether you like what your experience with finecast has been as well because i moan about it every time i talk about it and i i'm willing to concede that perhaps i've just had bad luck but i'd be interested to know uh, how many of you actually don't mind finecast at all and would kind of be maybe not sad but 
you know, you don't necessarily want to see the back of it that quickly. Um, so yeah, let me know what you think about all of that in the comments down below. In the meantime, feel free to click the things, Patreon, video, subscribe, all that stuff. Click it if you like, don't click if you don't want to. As always, there is an affiliate link in the description for Element Games, which you can click, and if you click it and buy something from Element Games, I get those when we send you that way. It's a nice way to support the channel because it requires no extra effort and all you're doing is buying what you'd normally buy in the form of paints and models for either 40k Rage of Sigma or Bolt Action, X-Wing, War Horse, War Machine, just all of the stuff that they stock, which is literally everything. Um, so yeah, that's a thing you can do if you would like to do it. Uh, I leave it completely up to you. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time. Toodaloo.